Hi, uh, I'm making this video in part as a response to a comment I saw. I don't remember the uh, gentleman's name, but he wrote something to the effect of, uh, not on my channel, it's on something else, that you know, deep down, uh, we men, as much as we deny it, we, we want to be with women, we belong with them. And uh, this got me thinking, well, less thinking than just... Uh, motivated me to make this video and this video is all about coming to terms with reality i i want it's not a commandment but i i'm a look i want to make this video because i feel compassion and and sympathy and empathy for my fellow men I think a lot, beyond a lot of natural human tendencies to drift towards single solution ideologies and uh, finger pointing ideologies and what have you, I would agree with this gentleman that we men, we suffer from a deep, more than deep, visceral need for female companionship. Um, expresses itself the minute we hit puberty. It's very different to the need that the female has. The need has uh, the female has need for um, labor or resources, and ultimately, it doesn't matter if those resources come from a man or not. It's it's just very different. Men have this deep uh, seated need to have female companionship, not just for sex, but for a lot of the the sort of nurturing motherly kind of. Uh, feeling that I imagine they, a lot of men envision in women. It's part of the illusion. Um, but this video is all about coming to terms with reality. And part of being an adult, among many th other things, is accepting that some things will never be. Uh, maybe you thought when you were a child you were going to be an astronaut. I know I didn't. But, uh, and at some point in time you have to come with the rather soul, come to the rather soul-crushing realization that it's not going to happen. Um, the problem, I can understand man, men's yearning. I have sympathy for that and even empathy because at some point in time in my life I was there as well. But men need to accept reality. This is the problem. I think a lot of the hostility we sense from some of the men towards, say, the men going their own way message and what have you, comes from the simple fact that they just don't want it to be true. They want to believe in what, unfortunately, is just a fairy tale. Love, at least the love you've been indoctrinated into, the love that is bandied about and prattled about in society, is a sham. It's an illusion. It never was. It, it is not, and it will not be. And as much as you might yearn for that illusion, it's not going to make it true. I want you those those words to sink into your head. Anyone who views this, as much as you want the illusion to be true, uh, to be true, it's not going to make it true. It's just because you want it to be true. Life is saddled with disappointments, and admittedly, for the man, for the male being, that the male essence, if you will, so craves female companionship on more than anything else, it seems, in life. And this realization, and the internalization of that realization more than anything else, not just the realization, anyone can realize something. It's when you actually internalize something that your behavior reflects that realization. Until you've internalized it, it's just a, a talking point, it's something you might have learned in a lecture, in a book, something you might agree with on a peripheral, superficial level. But to internalize it means you're, you're living according to that realization. Whatever that realization uh, informs you of, that, that is... Uh, that is the information that is guiding, part of the information that's guiding your life. And the simple fact is, women never loved men. They've 
always love what men could do for them. And the modern age has shown that to be even more so the case. Uh, it's even more apparent, obvious, patently obvious, that this is the case. Women do not love men. They do not love men. And I know that pains many men to hear, and I know that's the message that men do not want to hear. And I know that's part of a lot of the hostility towards men going their own way. Because, unfortunately, this is the harsh reality that men need to accept, and many men just aren't there yet. They don't want to accept it. Love is a sham. It always has been. It doesn't exist. Now, I'm paraphrasing Barbarossa, but one of the videos, which I thought was a landmark video for me, I don't recall its title, but he essentially said something to the effect of, and I'm paraphrasing, that there is no mommy out there for you. There's no woman who's going to embrace you and open arms and, and take away your worries and pains and, and, and cares and wants and needs. This is an illusion. This is the illusion you've been fed since your childhood. And as much as you want it to be true, it's not, and it never will be true. Now, some of you might say, oh, that's not what I really want. I just want something else. I want, uh, it's not an obsession. It's, it's just something, uh, it's just natural, so on and so forth. These are deflections. Most men have this deep-seated need for female companionship. And it is, unfortunately, a need. But men need to face reality. They need to accept that it simply is not true and it cannot be. That which is, which is not cannot be. I don't know how to put it more clearly. I know that men suffer because of this and that it's painful this realization, even more so than the realization, the internalization of that is painful, that love is a sham, and women are, well, we know what women are. So I, I, I would strongly urge you to start looking at reality as it is. There are many people, mostly adults, who believe in all sorts of things which are patently false because it makes them feel good, uh, or they want to have hope. Unfortunately, hope is amorphous and lacks uh, real content. As I've said in the past, hope is the denial of reality. It is the carrot dangled before the draft horse in a vain attempt to keep it prodding on. The question you need to ask yourself as a man is what are you prodding on for? I, I realize how difficult this is. I think this is, at the end of the day, the crux and the core of the issue. It is extremely painful to the male being to to realize, accept, and then finally internalize that the, there is no woman out there who will love you. Women do not know love. They do not certainly, at least perhaps they know it for their own direct progeny, uh, although that's, that's highly variable as we know. Um, but it, certainly they don't know it for men. Um, and given, as has been discussed recently, the mechanization and technological advancement of modern society, they don't even need men's resources anymore, although they don't mind stealing them uh, quite often. As I said, I don't know how else to put this. But th this is the time to look after yourself. There's no one else out there who's going to do it for you, barring maybe some friends who occasionally give you a helping hand. There is no female angelic figure out there who's, who's going to save you from the, the pain of your loneliness, who's going to show you compassion, who's going to help you. It doesn't exist. Um, 
yeah, I know. It, it, it clearly is to many men a painful realization, and the internalization of that realization is even more, pain, even more painful. But at some point in time, you need to move past that. If at one point in time in your life, the greatest sense of fulfillment was the companionship of a woman, you need to find a new sense of fulfillment that does not reside in the companionship of a woman. If you have seen past the illusion, if you've taken the red pill, you can't go back. It's that simple. Now, there are some men who will never be able to accept the truth and never will be able to accept reality. And they will continue trying and trying and trying. I suppose if they can deal with that and it doesn't bother them and they have no issues with that, well, they can do that. They should do that. But to most men, or a good number of men, I think these men are in a position to realize what is true and what is not true. If Riffle's law has any veracity whatsoever, and I think it does, and it observe it in your own relationships with women, you will um, you will realize these things. Once again, I, I speak on this topic uh, from coming from uh, a feeling of compassion and empathy and sympathy. At some point in time in my life, I was there as well. It is a very dark, dark feeling to know that you are completely alone and that no one in the world is going to help you out of the hole that you're in except yourself. Barring, I said, the occasional friend. But unfortunately, this, this perception of the female as a figure of salvation, it is, is very much to your detriment, to my fellow men. It is not healthy. Um, and pursuing that illusion, that dream, is Likewise, not healthy. This, at the end of the day, is the essence of what I am talking about. Coming to grips with the reality as it is, and it's not easy. And some men, some people are better equipped to do that than others. But it needs to be done nevertheless. If you know it to be a lie, and you want it to be true, you're going to encounter a problem. If you buy into the illusion and the fairy tale of, of love and the kind, loving, uh, for understanding female uh, figure, well, I suppose that's not an issue. But if you realize that it's untrue, then it will be an issue. I've seen many, I've seen on YouTube and, and elsewhere, Many men go through these rather painful uh, developments of the realization of the reality of, of the female, of female nature, what they actually intend and what they want. And it's clearly, to some, very devastating. And if you want to hold on to that, to that sliver of hope, which isn't hope at all, it's the hope... It, it's, it's nothing. It doesn't, doesn't exist. Um, this, this idea that uh, there's a, that a woman will sweep you off your, uh, well, not so much sweep you off your feet, but alleviate you of all your troubles and worries. Who's going to be there for you? And it's true. It, it is in your nature as a man to crave that, to believe that even. It's a combination of biological drives and instincts and social indoctrination and just having it hammered into you since you were a kid. So you crave that. But just because you want something to be true, it doesn't make it true. So all I can do, and I'd say this is the core of my message, is to stop chasing an illusion. I know it's painful. I know it's difficult. 
I know you don't want it to want to believe it. I know when I realized it a while back, I didn't want to believe it either. Even though I had had the sneaking suspicion, as I know many of you do as well, for many years, that it was thus. So all I can do is to urge you to make use of your reason, to realize that just because something is not nice or unpleasant doesn't make it untrue, and that there are a lot of unpleasant, un, uh, unpleasant truths, truths in life uh, that we need to accept and work around and deal with, and this is one of them. It is perhaps for the man, the, the individual man, one of the greatest, most disturbing truths to realize, to recognize. However, uh, there, there's no way past it. Um, like I said, just because you want something to be true doesn't make it true. Just because some, a, a vision or a dream makes you feel good doesn't mean that dream or vision will come true. I say this with all the compassion and sympathy in the world. You need to move beyond that and put that behind you. It's a lie. Love is a lie. What you've been told is a lie. Just move past it. Accept truth. There is a stark beauty to accepting the cold and harsh reality of the truth. It's something that the sham and illusion of purported love will never give you. That's all I really have to say. But uh, this is the core of my message. Accept reality as it is. Good night.